Hey everybody, just in time for Halloween, Tundra Books has released The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt. Did you hear that correctly? The Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt. Now the author of this book is Riel Nason and the illustrator is Byron Eggenschweiler. That is a mouthful, if ever I heard one. The conceit of this book is a simple one. You know how most ghosts are sheets? Well, this one is a patchwork quilt. And he's heavier than most ghosts, so he cannot fly around frilly and soft and free like other ghosts. So this is a different ghost. This is not a ghost that is the same as other ghosts. So the other ones make fun of him and cause him to feel sad. So guess what happens? When Halloween comes around, his differences make him special. And he ends up being used as a way for a little girl to keep warm, which makes him very happy. Now, not only is this a new, wonderful, and inventive ghost story, but it's a wonderful story about how our differences make us unique and help us help people in ways we never thought were possible. I love this book because it helps us to teach our children how we are own unique in our own different and special ways and how those different virtues contribute to the world. Now, this is not only a great book for children. If you have anyone in your family that sews or quilts, and if you know a quilter like me, you know that those are two completely different things. Run out and get them this book. The quilter in your life will love you forever. Once again, the Little Ghost Who Was a Quilt, Tundra Books, by Riel Nason and Byron Egan Schweiler. Look at this cover. It's pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing book. Go get it now. At Mr. Alex's bookshelf, we know that the word parent is not just a noun, it's also a verb. And books like this, that help teach our child about differences, they help you make that word a verb. See you soon.